Hey, it's me, Victoria Beyond. And right now, there's a cool, funny trend. And the cool, funny trend is doors. If you go to hashtag door tier list, there are too many people who have made door tier lists all due to ice cream sandwich making a funny. And honestly, I, I thought the video was really good. And I was like, I, I, can make I can make a door video. I wanted to make my own for Splatoon doors. Please, don't take this video too seriously. It's, it's just doors. Let's talk about doors. All right. So first of all, we have the door that a lot of people forget about. This is Krusty Sean's truck back door. Now, this door, honestly, it's usable to an extent. If you can glitch through here, you can get yourself back into the truck. It, it, it's really hard to do, though. But, but it's not impossible. And for that reason, and because we can see Krusty Sean, at least out here, I'm giving this door a C. Now instead, we have the least useful door in the game. You see this door back here? I I'm assuming that this is how Pearl and Marina get into their, you know, studio apartment in the back. But you know what? This this door, worthless. I can only look at it. I can't interact with it. I can't even, can't even, can't even get my inkling back there even if I try really hard. Listen, listen, listen to those buttons mash. Can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. Worthless door. Garbage door. All the way to the bottom. F tier. Bad door. Bye. Let's go to some normal doors instead. Now, this door here is the door that leads to the show. Now, most people aren't able to use the shoal very often, which takes away the value of this door, but you gotta keep in mind that at least it's really nice. Like, it's a nice big sliding door, interacts well, it's well decorated. Like, it makes the shoal look super inviting, even if the shoal doesn't do much for a lot of people. So, um, I'm putting this in A tier. It's an A tier door. Good door. <laughs> good. Now, honestly, Anything could be a door if you really wanted to, right? Right? So, uh, you know, if, if we just take away this big thing of glass, we might be able to say hi to our friends Pearl and Marina. So I'm giving this glass a B. Is it a door? Not yet. All right. So this is more of a gate than a door. So that already makes you lose a few points. And then... And then you think about all the pain the average person goes through once they step through this door into Octo Expansion. And I, I hate to say it, but this this one's getting a C. Doesn't even open and close. You, you, you can just look at it. Not good enough for me. Why does Spike get to be in there all by himself? Why can't we go in the cafe? Can we get a cafe in Splatoon 3? I, 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 I'd be pretty down for that. Like, look, this, this door goes nowhere. It, it just haunts you. It's just a physical fake door. Does it go in the cafe? W where does it go? D tier door. Doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, the salmon run door. Doesn't move. But you know what it is? It, it's closed, like, a third of the time. And that's gonna take away some points from you, Mr. Grizzco. And that's the only reason why it's getting a B. Because the door doesn't even move. Hey, look, it's the less pain inducing version of Octo Expansion. And this one even gets its own fun animation. So, this one gets an A. It's not a door, but it's cool. You know, the fun part about going in that door was that I messed up my ink color immediately. <laughs> so now I gotta go back and actually fix my ink color. Recon, please change my color back to purple so we can make the video. Okay. We'll get back to this in a minute. Mmm, <laughs> the lobby door. We we wouldn't have Splatoon without the lobby door. You there'd be no video game to play. You, you can't you can't badmouth the lobby door. It's going in S tier. It's a perfect door. Has a nice slidey consistency to it. Leads to the best part of the video game. Good. Hmm. Clothing store door. It it's decent. It's very see-through. Only makes a very small sound when you go near it. But, you know, Inklings need clothes. Kinda need those if we wanna be able to have good gear. So uh, let's give it a B, I'll let it pass. It's simplistic, I like it. Now, what do you notice that every one of these store doors has? If you said something on the ground in front of the door, you'd be right. Except for the shoe shop door, which has nothing, you just walk into the door. What's that? What you're supposed to do normally with a door? The door is very pretty though, but it just lacks pizzazz, you know? C tier door. Now, this is a door with style. Look at this. Hats on the side, stuff on the floor, a purple rug? You mean the color that, uh, that I happen to like? You know, sliding glass door aside, it at least has some nice
nice look to it. You, you see where the door goes. It doesn't just disappear like it does with the other shop. You get A tier. Good door. Good door. Ooh. 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 A ammo Knights? You thought I would forget about the Ammo Knights door? Come on. Look at how it opens. Just inviting you in. Look at those models. A Splatoon 2 weapons that don't look very finished. So don't worry about that. We'll close the doors. Either way, Ammo Knights. How could you say no? It's how you play the video game. Look at this flag! It's telling you come inside! It's not actually telling you that, but shh, we can pretend. Either way, the Ammo Knight's door goes in its own tier all the way at the top. You're welcome! Bye! <laughs>